Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a short little video for you on how I made my Instagram stories. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So first off, you're going to go into your web browser and type in what symbol you want. Make sure, like emoticon, whatever, just make sure that it's trans has a transparent background because if not, you'll see later in the video what happens. But so I'm just going to save the one I want, the clip art, to my desktop. You can save it anywhere else. Like I just dragged it onto my desktop. And then I just went and found others that I wanted to use for my story templates. And next, I'm going on to Canva. That's how I make mine. You can also, I was using my computer, but you can also do this on the iPad. And the uh, uh, measurements are up there right beside Share. And those are the templates I already had. So I just clicked Add a New Page. But I show you how you can customize and make the different colors and stuff. I really enjoy doing that. So you can see there you have the color wheel and you can customize the color you want but I just use mine all the same I think it looks nicer that way and then I just duplicated the one page and then I'm just uploading my images this is the part that I needed my computer for because I wasn't sure how to do it on the iPad but I uploaded the images that way and then also I show you how you can find them on Canva I just typed in one of the ones I wanted and all the little clip art showed up some are free others you have to pay for so I just ended up choosing the free one because I never want to pay for it anyway and then I just drag it on and I customize it the dimension I want and I center it it shows you pretty much how to center it. It's That part's pretty easy. I just had a hard time with the size because I didn't want it to be bigger than the others on my template. So then you can see right here if it doesn't have a transparent background that white little box shows up in the back and it doesn't look cute unless you have an all white background. So then the same thing happened to the other one, so I just ended up going on Canva and using it. And then I just hit download and showed what pages I wanted since I already had some. And just click the download button. And then I just saved them and uploaded them on my Instagram story and created, finished creating my templates. So that was pretty simple. I mean, I probably didn't do a good job explaining it. I hope I did. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social medias, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!